Well guys, I painted up all the metal pieces here and I'm going to assemble them together and then we're going to drill the holes on the machine to hang this. So, All right guys, so what I did now is I brought the panel over to the tractor here and I found where I want to mount it. I make sure down here that the coil is over enough so it's not in the way of that linkage. And I just drilled two little pilot holes in here with a quarter inch bit which will give me two little places to drill the holes and then we'll mount it and do some wiring all right guys so i got my ignition module mounted here and this is pretty simple there's two tabs on this side a b which i'm going to call b for battery i don't know what it really stands for but i ran a red wire from there right around here to the positive post on the coil the other output which is labeled l goes to the negative side of the coil the other side of the module is fed by the uh, pigtail, which will go to the crank trigger. Now, this has two wires. One marked W, which is for the white wire here. I didn't have any white wire, so I just used the red one for now. And the other one is labeled G, which some of these have a green wire on these pigtails and some have a black. But that's for this black or green one. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt this into the machine now. I'm just going to put some tape over these real quick. I'll do this all official after we test it and put shrink wrap on it and make it nice. I'm going to solder all these crimp connectors when I do it later. And then what we need is a hot feed from the key switch, which you would use the coil um, ignition terminal on the key switch to feed your coil, just like with a Kohler powered gravely. The original... Onan key switch is for a magneto ignition. It's not set up for a coil ignition, so you need to make sure you have the right key switch. And then uh, we'll try it out. All right, so we got everything installed here. I ran this blue wire here up from the key switch, and we'll make this pretty after we test everything. But now, if the on this head, the spark plug comes out over here. So we just need a little wire to go from the coil to the spark plug over there. So. Let me uh, put the head back on and then we'll uh, see if we got some spark. All right guys, we got the spark plug all hooked up here. And we're gonna try to crank over this motor and see if we got any spark. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we do. So what we're gonna do is put a little carb cleaner in the head there and see if we can start it up. Well guys, I'll call this a success. You just heard it run. Now, the carburetor needs to be clean and this particular machine's probably been sitting for 25 years. The uh, fuel tank is full of like varnish, so what I'll do over the next couple days is we'll drain out the fuel tank and uh, we'll probably take the carb off and clean it and make a new gas line. And uh, I think we're gonna have a runner here. And uh, I'm pretty happy about this. Um, it was running pretty good. The timing sounds like it might be off just a hair, but I don't know if that's because I was using starting fluid, which is very like aggressive when it burns, or if my timing really is off the minutest hair. But again, uh, I can tweak this trigger here back and forth if I need to. And you remember the gauge on the side for the 20 degrees, 
before top dead center and I think I'm right on that so anyways uh, the battery that I was using is a little weak and the starter on this tractor isn't the best either but you all heard it run and uh, this system works and uh, I hope that some of you other guys can save your 430 Onans with this system and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this crank trigger bracket off and paint it and I'm also going to make some templates so that some of you other guys can make these if you need to and uh, that's about it so I hope you learned something and I hope you all can save your Onan 430s